I don't know if y'all cared or not, but I do have some subscribers on this channel, so I hope you do. I know I've been missing for a couple weeks now and I stopped filming, I stopped uploading and it's not because I gave up, it's not that, it's just I'm very, very busy. Something happened at work, it was a state of an emergency, I work at a hospital and this type of thing doesn't happen at hospitals. It's a rare case. So I work in the sterilizing department and pretty much the weather turned off the AC on us and because the AC turned off on us for 15 minutes, it got all the trays of instruments that, use, that are used for surgery damp, okay? So they're all moist. So what does that mean exactly? It means that everything has been compromised in that department and everything had to be reprocessed and re-sterilized. That means surgeries had to be canceled for a day while we figure all this out. Now, because of that, they wanted people to come into work as many hours as you can put in in a whole week. And they were gonna pay us time and a half plus $10 an hour. Now, what did Bliss do? Bliss went to work, okay? The first week, I was gone. I was just working out, getting my fitness together. Second week, I was putting in that OT because that's where I make my money. YouTube, I love YouTube, but YouTube ain't making me nothing right now, okay? None of my videos are monetized because I haven't reached the 1,000 subscribers and I haven't reached the, I believe it's 4,000 4, hours of watch time, okay? So I gotta go where I'm, where I'm getting paid. But here I am, I'm back in YouTube, and I'm ready to react to a video. I decided to react to this one because I have a lot to say. It's by Soluminati. Yes, some people may hate him, some people may love him. He's actually the first reactor that I've ever seen, and it got me into this whole reaction thing. He changed a little bit. He got a little bit um, loopy. I would say he's all into the spiritual world now, which is all good, but some people may not understand or get him right now. But there's a couple videos that I do agree on, and this might be one of them because the title of this video is called Kid with All A Plus Tells Mom Fuck College. You're probably wondering what I feel about this or where I stand, and we don't know yet until we we'll watch the video, right? So let's go ahead and start the video. So we got them emails rolling in hot, as y'all can see. Listen, I'm gonna leave my email in the description. Email me some stuff, I'm here to learn. I'm also here to answer some of y'all questions, etc. Some of the stuff that y'all be sending me do be hitting me, you know what I'm saying, be getting my attention. But I'm gonna say this out, quick, quick video. So this young guy, I know he young. And bro, I know you a nerd too, but it's all good, this video for you. But what you told me, you're a nerd. <laughs> It's all good, man. I'm glad. And if y'all don't know Suluminati, don't take everything to the heart. He, that's how he talks, okay? When he's calling him a nerd, it is what it is. <laughs> he's just pretty honest and very blunt, straightforward with his words. i you aware of what's going on right now at, at such a young age. So this dude, I don't know what grade he's in, but the way that he write, hold on. The way that you wrote this message, I could tell that you are young. You just talking. So basically, he said that he get all A's in school. He don't really have friends, but he's very smart. But he said he's not interested in school at all. He said he don't want to be there. He told his mom that he don't want to go to college. Now his family is looking at him ah, weird. They want to know who the fuck is you getting this shit from? Who are you watching? Like, you're on your way. Your family going to look at you like you are about to be a millionaire, a trillionaire, a CEO. If you getting all A's and shit, you about to go to college. You about to go to Harvard. And as a parent, I would think so too. If my if my child is going to school and they're getting A pluses, like there's intelligence there. And it's you gotta use that intelligence for something good. And you automatically think, because society makes you think this way, is okay, you have all these good grades, go to one of the best colleges and then go ahead and graduate college. And after that, you're gonna have the most best career you can ever have and make lots and lots of money. That's what you would think when your child is making those type of grades. But it's only because society makes you think or makes you think that way. They be super happy for you to be in debt when you graduate. You're gonna be in debt when you graduate. Mm. 
You ain't got no rich family. You're going to be in debt. You have to pay something for school, no matter what. Now and school ain't cheap, okay? School ain't cheap, and there's and it's amazing how some countries they have you going to college for free, okay? There is no tuition. But United States is a little bit different. But you got a full ride scholarship, et cetera, et cetera. Understand this. All of that shit is third dimensional shit. If it ain't teaching you, if your job is not to become a CEO or a boss of your own shit, no matter what, you don't want to work for no one. And when you start connecting with your higher self and going with them, you're going to become the ultimate you anyway. So you will work for no one. That's how it's set up. It's set up for us to get programmed in school. It starts in school. They program us young. We young, we have no idea. They throw all this different shit in our face. They put us in the environment around a whole bunch of badass, stinking, baby kids. <laughs> Why we can't just stay at home and learn how to meditate, learn how to focus on our breath? Imagine them teaching us how to focus on our breath instead of teaching us fucking... He's all about meditation, and I'm all for it too, but that's not something, how I, that's not something that I would teach my children if they're not going to school. For me, it's more about learning how to self-love self-respect and how to be happy those are the number those are the things that i believe is very important in life if you want to have a happy life but you know if you if you really and truly believe that going to college and having a career and making lots of money is what's going to make you happy let me tell you one thing depression doesn't see dollar signs depression don't care if you're rich depression doesn't care if you're poor it's gonna get you regardless. So you wanna be the happiest you can be. Don't do what society wants you to do. This, bro, you know how much, bro, I went to school 16 years out of my life and became a YouTuber. So can I get them 16 years back in my life? Cause I'm a YouTuber and I'm making more than my teachers and shit now. And I'm smarter than them. And let me tell you too, I don't know how much teachers make, but I do hear that they make very little money. I went to college for a degree, for an associate's degree in business. I don't regret it because I learned a lot. And because I learned so much in that whole business area, I was able to use those skills and other things like my music and my YouTube. But these are also things that I could have learned in a different place. I didn't have to go to college for that. You cannot go on YouTube and learn things, okay? But put yourself around positive people and people in the area that you are interested in. Those are the people that will teach you for free, okay? It took me almost, almost seven years to pay back my college tuition. And I'm not even doing anything with that degree. What I'm working at right now had nothing to do with my college degree. And I'm getting paid close to $20 an hour, okay? That may not be much for some people, but it's, it's pretty good to get a house and a car and the things that I need to survive in life. And I didn't need college for that. That's the sad thing. I didn't even need college for it. So little man, understand this. Right now, you are aware of what's going on. You are a woke child. You are a woke youngin. It's not a lot of you, bro. You gotta understand you in a position in your life right now. You different. Mm. If you watching this video right now and you under the age of 15, mm. bro, you are so different. Yep. And let me tell you why. Because I didn't think this way until I got older. Until in my 30s. So if you're that young and you already think that way, you're gonna go places. You're probably an indigo child. Like, understand this. Understand if you're watching this vid. Bro, do you see how lit it is in this culture, in this matrix? It's so much shit to distract us. So if you're watching this, bro, you are about to be rich. You are about to be successful in your life. I want you to know that. So, young guy, understand this. First of all, you can't get the answers from your parents clearly because your parent or your parents are asleep. Your family is asleep. You gonna start teaching them in a minute what the fuck is going on. You need to tell them to watch my motherfucking videos. <laughs> now, don't disrespect your family uh, at all. If yeah. you have to finish school, you have no choice. This is how it's set up. You have to finish school. You have to finish high school. There is no way around it if you want to live in life and actually have some form of income. You need to have a diploma or a GED. There's no way going around those things. Okay, period. Bro, like you're not gonna drop out of some shit that you killing this easy. But understand, now that you are smart and you have control over the matrix, you have control over your shit right now, you know that it's gonna serve you no purpose when you graduate. You know that right now when you only like, what, 13, 14, 15? I don't know how old you are. 
Bro, the fact that you know that shit, bro, understand right now. Start focusing on what you like to do. Yep. The littlest shit, no matter if you yep. like coloring, drawing. Yep, facts. No matter if you like, like, Legos or some shit. The littlest shit could turn you into a millionaire yep. once you connect with your higher self. 100%. Real shit. No matter. Let me tell you one thing. Okay, let me tell you one thing. I was so focused on going to college as a kid. And I did what, and I did it. I accomplished my goal. Made me feel good and everything. But if I focused what I was, what I used to do when I was younger, I would have been on this YouTube game a long time ago. I used to film videos, family videos with my cousins all the time. I always had the camera, I'm always recording. I was, I was even editing it old school with no computer, okay? With no computer, no editing program. I was on literally on a, on a VHS uh, recorder tape recorder and I just kept going back and back and forth and then just putting things together, okay? Now that was me when I was younger. If I knew about YouTube and wasn't so focused on going to college, I would have been on this a long time ago. And who knows where I would have been 10 years later? Who knows? If you like stacking toothpicks, my nigga, you could become a, a internet sensation stacking toothpicks. Like the littlest things, you, you have to understand the littlest things can be your purpose. Yeah. So focus on what makes you happy, okay? Not no videos or not no shit. Focus on what makes you happy. Facts. Like with them, what you do naturally on a regular basis, not watching people or something. What do you do for yourself that makes you legit happy? No matter if it's helping someone, no matter if it's going to go work out every day, no matter if it's going for a run, no matter if it's reading, no matter if it's writing. You say you got all A's, so you have, you gotta be interested. You have to have something you have we to. don't know about. Yeah. So understand, focus on your purpose. You gonna naturally learn how to meditate. You gonna naturally become one of the young gods, one of the chosen ones. You are already a chosen one. So focus on your purpose right now. Finish school. Even if you have a job and you're in a fucked up situation right now, focus on your purpose while you're working. Yeah. Long as you focus on the positive and your purpose, you're going to ease your way up out of there. Yeah. Now, if you focus on the negative and you are stressing this shit, you downing yourself, you're going to be stuck in that position. So if you're in school, you downing yourself, you stressing the fuck out, you're going to become depressed because you still going to have to finish school. Got no choice. That's why you still want to make sure you're focusing on your purpose so you can still have fun. So you don't, don't think you're wasting your life or think you're wasting your time. Don't look at it like you're better than everyone or you're smarter than everyone, etc. Just look at it like they sleep and you woke. It's that simple, little nigga. <laughs> so look, man. For all y'all that... Like, this is why my thought process has been so different as an adult depression hit me hard okay and it's hit me hard many times throughout my life probably a good four times and a couple of those times have been a couple years each time and i realized that i wasn't happy not that i didn't have people that loved me it, that wasn't it it's just a, a chemical imbalance in the brain it just happens you're not happy so what makes me happy is making these youtube videos but i still have to have an income i still have to provide for my family so this is why I have a job outside of this. But that job ain't gonna stop me from doing what I like to do and what I want to ultimately have as an income, which is YouTube. And I ain't giving up. We've been doing Bliss and Press for two years and we still haven't gotten an income from it. And that ain't gonna stop me though. When you're motivated, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. That's in school, keep your head up, grind it out. I wish I had this knowledge when I was in school. Me too. I probably would end up still becoming a YouTuber, but I would have been doing way more in school, man. Even without this technology that we have today. Um, even when I was in school, I was still distracted. I was still hooping and shit. So look, if you playing sports right now, you have to understand that the sports, the sports shit, you got to start looking at the statistics of sports. No matter what, don't stop grinding because it's good for your body. It's good for your health, yeah. fitness. But understand the, the, the statistics of sports. Just like when I talk about the NBA, it's only 300 it's very low. players in the NBA. And billions of people play every day. Billions of people have the same mindset. It's very they low. They make it to the NBA. And you're one of them. So understand that the, everything is controlled. And they choose these people that they want from a young age. And they make sure that they are in a position to make the NBA. You have to know that. If you are not one of the chosen ones for the Matrix, you're not going to make it. Um... 
Even, that's for all sports. Look at the statistics. So start thinking of other shit. Just like Kyrie. Kyrie is a woke NBA player. Even though he in the NBA, you can still tell that he has a different purpose. Clearly. The NBA is not bringing him happiness. That's just his job. Right. That's the position that he put himself in on this matrix. Right. right? All sports. Football. All that shit, man. Football. All these players on the team. Like, bro, you got like four quarterbacks in the lineup. You got... For some, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So always look at on the side what you genuinely like. Even if it's not that sport, look at something else that you like on the side. Whatever you have as a hobby. And while I'm saying all this, once you start meditating and going within, I won't need to say none of this anyway. You're going to automatically know regardless. If you can learn how to meditate in high school and in school, you're going to become fucking immortal. <laughs> Because in high school, everybody be stressing and tripping over relationships and grades and shit. Mm. And you just sitting back like, hmm. like when you graduate, you already got it figured out. You're going to go and get you some nature and shit. You're going to go nature. and start manifesting everything you want. Meanwhile, they're going to all be in debt. They're going to be in school, Facts. partying, sleep as fuck. I miss the, I ain't gonna lie, I miss the college parties. But I'm glad I dropped out. I won't be where I'm at today. But, um... Anyway, man, that's all I got to say about that, man. Put your and it's crazy because what I do now, we've hired a lot of employees who actually went to college to do what I do. And they have to pay that tuition. You know how I got into that type of department? I had no certification. I had no experience, no nothing. I was a housekeeper, a housekeeper, okay, for many years. I decided to apply for that type of position at about six hospitals all around my area who, by the way, on their website were asking for um, employees with certification or experience. I just went ahead and just went ahead and just applied anyways and every single one of them. And one of them called me, got the interview and I'm a go-getter so I got that job. And I got in, very low pay because I had nothing. But once I, a year into it, I went to go get certified and I left that hospital, went to another, which, which is the one that I'm at now, and got six more dollars, okay? That's how I got in the position I'm in now. While all the other, while all the other employees that are at my job right now went to college for a degree just to be in the same position I'm at now. Sometimes it's who you know Sometimes you just gotta hustle. Do what you can. Don't, tell, don't let anybody tell you no, that you can't. I hate when people say, I can't do this, I can't do that. That's bullshit. You can. The only one that's stopping you is yourself. And if you hear, if you actually, if you listen to the people telling you that you can't do it, then that's on you. You're falling, in, you're falling victim into that. They wanna see you fail. Don't do that. Do what you wanna do. And like I want to tell, and I've told, and I've told my kids this, I've told all of them, you don't have to go to college. If what you want to do in life requires college, then go to college. If it doesn't, then find a way to reach your goal. I just want all of you to be happy. That is it. God doesn't see the type of job you have. God doesn't see dollars. He doesn't see none of that. He just wants you to be a good person. And that's what I want all my kids to be. Good people, living life the right way, and being happy. That's it. Put yourself in a position right now. Start focusing on your purpose while you're in these tough situations. And start going with them. Learn how to meditate. Keep yourself happy. Do what makes you happy and keep doing that shit no matter what it is. As long as it's positive and benefiting you in a positive way and not hurting people, keep doing it. With all that said, bro, you're in the best position in your life, young fella. For real. Young king, man. I, I wish I thought that keep way when I was young. Real shit. You a leader. You gonna teach your parents one day. Don't focus on your parents. Most of these parents is made to keep you at a low vibration. They know your potential already. Most parents want to control your destiny. Don't let that happen. Just keep doing you. Keep getting... But it's only because parents care, though. Soul needs to let people know that, too. Soul needs to let all these kids know that it's only because out of good intentions, their parents are trying to teach them what path to go to. It's not out of bad intention them grades and get the fuck up out the matrix you're on your way spiritual soul signing out spiritual soul good talk good talk you know so illuminati is is one 
interesting human being. He be talking his shit. He does. And people don't like him for it. But he's calmed down a little bit, but he does. That guy is really intelligent. If you actually pay attention to the things he says, he's pretty smart. All right, what y'all think about that? I know we got deep in this video and I am not gonna apologize for it because I have a lot of opinions on it, so I said what I had to say. Whether you like it, whether you, whether you agree, disagree, let me know in the comments below, let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please turn on your bell so you can be notified every time we upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.